Hi and welcome to the Journal of a Marketing Agency. Listen in as we chat about challenges we faced, insights into the latest marketing topics, and thoughts on productivity and growth. Um, so our studio is mm. new. If you're watching, welcome. If you're listening, it looks great. <laughs> yeah, we promise. It looks good. <laughs> um... Yeah. The the the, uh, the podcast mics make it look uh, really professional. Do you think <laughs> you can you can throw money at a problem and make things look good? That, that's what we're learning. A fresh haircut and some nice mics and everything looks yeah. better. You yeah. wouldn't have wanted to watch this yesterday with our pre or oh, the lockdown haircuts. <laughs> yes, uh, yeah, we're looking freshly um, freshly groomed today. Um, I think this has been a really good space for us to because we're home based as standard. I think this has been a really good space for us mm. to get together. Well, I think the key, the key was COVID forced home. So, I mean, we had office space previously. It was it was good and it was bad, but then COVID forced everybody home. And I think people have learned the benefits of home. But I think you and I have also noticed the bad side of being at home. When it, home offices are brilliant, productivity rates can go through the roof. You've got, and I've always said with us as a business, You've got 24 hours to get the job done. It's not nine to five. It never has been. There's time for exercise, time for learning, whatever it does to get the job done. But what I think it lacked is we then, I think lots of businesses might find it made people start to think small. It's hard to think outside of, if you're, you know, people's generally the office at home generally is the smallest room in the house because it's not the one you need. Or if you've got purpose built, um, you know, office in your garden or converted a garage, whatever you've got, you start to think to the confines of that space. Mm. You look around you and you think, oh, could I, grow my business could I get more clients you start to think small and in creatively if you're a marketing business you know so we we did lots of work where we'd you know we'd rent somewhere or we'd turn our houses upside down to create the space to do product uh, what yeah. videos specifically yeah I think where this is a great dynamic and I think it's something that I think this might be the new normal I'm not sure where people I think it's hard to judge I mean working from home has massive benefits for some people not for others some people like the chat around the coffee machine thing some people's social lives revolved around being at work yeah um in you and i are slightly different stages of our life potentially than some people younger people would would want that more so we're not old but <laughs> but for us it was you know having that flexibility to be we've got younger families having flexibility to be around them and so on but it's quite suffocating to just be at home i think the new normal will be I, and i don't like the arguments it's people are being asked to vote. Should it be two days, three days, four days at home, four days in the office? And I don't think that is a thing because no. it, sh- it shouldn't. There's not if that, if the overall consensus is f- if it's a company vote and it's three days in, two days at home. I don't think it needs to be as black and white as that for people. No, no. no. Everyone's different. Everyone's circumstances are different. And many businesses have been more black and white. That you either you're either in the office or not. Yeah. Um. And 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 that changes on role in roles as well. Yeah. So obviously, you know, many many a salesperson will be mm. on the road visiting customers, and even even if they're not been particularly doing that through COVID, they'll still generally be based at home because mm. that's how it generally has always been for them. Whereas, so if there's a business that's just focused on people being in the office, then everyone else will, will, will get back to the office. Yeah. Um, but I think that the new thing is this is called hybrid working. Yeah. You know, is, is that, like you say, defining uh, how much people are at home, how much people are in the office. Um, but like, yeah, you're right. I think it's going to be different for every business. Yeah. And I think it may well be different for every individual. You know, I, I know people who cannot stand working at home. Mm. And, the, and you know, whether they've got kids or not, uh, you know, they, they just don't like it. They just mm. would rather be in the office. They think it's more um, more nimble, more more reactive. Um, and then there's other people who just absolutely love work. I mean, I've always been a massive fan of working from home. Mm. I'm just I'm massively productive. Yeah. Um, as long as I can, you know, have some calls and, and get out. And that and I think that's the difference. Yeah. You know, where you say about being confined to your office or at home office or, or just the, the house, mm. we have really been confined yeah. the past twelve months. Well exactly. So it's it's kind of it's amped up. And I remember you saying to me about, you know, working for yourself, being at home, the benefit is um, you can go out when you want mm. and you can you work in a coffee shop one day and all that. But that actually I kind of, you know, joined with you and, mm. and th- that kind of then just all 
went yeah. away. <laughs> so um, working from home was was being at home all the time. Uh, suddenly you couldn't work in a coffee shop mm. or out in a park somewhere or something like that. Yeah. Um, so th- there's been a little bit of a skew on on that. Mm. And I think what how we've um, again I'm not saying this work for everybody, but how we've tried to address it is by having not an office space. It's a studio space which you can work from. We, you know, we like, there's a hot desk space, you know, standing desks, and so on and so on. It's a means of, and it's it's about being more considered about you can't just quickly make something. You've got to really now plan to be here for full days. Yeah. Create content at scale. Yeah. Record podcasts, hello podcasts. Um, you know, do product photography, do the video pieces that need doing. Do so really work. For us, I can see it being probably realistically around two days, but of intense pre-planned content and um, yeah creation, mm. which we can then sync. You know, to everyone we work with, both and everyone we work with has the the files that's required. Everyone can then we have the human interaction, which is fun. Yeah, you know, we try and do creative sessions via Teams, and it doesn't really work. We get tired. Yeah, interruptions. Yeah. you know, Amazon delivery drivers. Zoom so fatigue is Zoom is fatigue. A thing. I'm, is a thing. I mean, I've started wearing um, you know, these sort of blue light glasses, and I don't think it's. Ne- I know I'm on the computer a lot more. I think it's just the fatigue of being on a computer all the time. Yeah. I'm yeah. just, you know, I didn't really invest in eight pounds from Amazon for a pair of glasses, two pairs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not banking on them working particularly, but I think yeah, the, the new normal from a marketing business, and anyone who really wants to create. In this new world, which we know called creative is king, content at scale, focus, pre-planning, which you can do remotely, Yeah, get into a place, work with people, create yeah. that buzz, get out the content. Then everyone can then dissipate off back to home offices or they can still come into the studio and work for me if they want. But then we can do all the editing. We can still do collabs. We can still then, we can, you know, we can do the video edits. We can do podcast edits. We can transcribe things. We can load all the social channels. All, all of that can be done. You don't have to be here for that. Yeah. And equally, we're cutting down commuting time costs for people. Yeah. I think it's going to be interesting. I think this, I think there's going to be a movement to this sort of side of things. I think we, you need to provide somewhere for people who want to yeah. not be at home. Because, again, it's okay for us. We've both got home offices. Some people don't. You don't want to be sat at your kitchen table yeah. getting a bad back yeah. you're in the wrong chair. Yeah. Uh, it's things like that that make a difference as well. Yeah. If you've got an office space, then it's a lot, yeah. lot easier. I and mean, I invested quite a lot into my home office space to make yeah. it really work for me. Yeah. But I don't think everyone has that. Yeah, the the um, uh, like you say, th- organizing your time around doing the things that need to get done in the office space or the studio space. Mm. In our in in our case, um, uh, that that that's a real good thing to, to mm. do, you know. And that's what we've done today. You know, we listed things to do while mm. we're here. Yeah. Um, we purposely said we can go out here reasonably early and we're going to stay Wasn't fairly late. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but family, family dramas. That's <laughs> you, well, can't be helped. Um, but, uh, but again, uh, the benefit of uh, working for yourself, it's like you, you, uh, you, you only got yourself to have a go at if you're, if you're late. <laughs> That's true. I think again, the other thing is if the working from home thing, I think where it does benefit people a lot is if you have one of those days and we've all had them when you're not really, you're not ill, you're not really feeling that you're just having one of those days. If you've tr- dragged yourself into the office and you're there in body only and you're not being a productive when you're at home, I know we've always said, if you're having one of those days, just have a few hours off, go for a walk or take the afternoon off. If, but there's no, but that person then the next day will be rejuvenated, grateful they've had yeah. the opportunity. Yeah. If you've been sat almost effectively like chained to your desk it feels like sometimes you've got that boss who kind of does the walk around checks you're doing what you're doing that's where i think the new office the new normal will be gone yeah and i think some i fear not fear because it's many people run business how they want it would never be how i run one that people want people back in because it's a lack of trust with their employees there's people that have to be stood over to work and i think that's a nature of um bad training yeah Employing the wrong people, mm. not you know. There's there's some processes I think companies can have to put in to mitigate that. Because mm. if you have to stand over someone to do the job, they're either not being trained properly, they're not motivated. You, there's lots of reasons behind mm. that. Mm. I think we'll see how it goes. I mean, it's, we're still relatively new into this setup. Early impressions are great because we get here full of energy. We make coffee, we talk, we set up the cameras, we get everything ready for all the content is created, and I can feel a certain lethargy sometimes when we've been away from each other because I think creatively you need to work close to people. Yeah. When it gets too yeah. long, 
it gets a bit of a, it becomes a struggle. And you talk about banter as well. We, yeah. we kind of have the same level of banter, um, quite the same over the you know teams or something like no. that, um, no. or be as daft as we can be. Um, Just like when you brewed a coffee this morning, it was nice. We both sit with coffees from home and we say, how's your coffee? Yeah, great. Yeah. But just someone making you a coffee is nice. Yeah. So yeah, yeah I think it's going to be a, an interesting one. It's only because I brew better coffee than you though. You do. <laughs> I'm getting there, slowly. <laughs> but no, I think we'll see how this one goes. I think it's going to be an interesting topic for people. Yeah. It's not, and again, this is like everything we're talking about. It, it changes. Yeah. Um, if, you know, when we recruit, I think it's inevitable we will be recruiting new people imminently as, as more work comes in. I, generally, I, who knows what type of people we'll be recruiting. Their needs will be different. Yeah. I think that's the, the where hopefully this podcast will be useful for people because we'll, as we come across challenges, we'll talk about how we resolve them yeah. and what worked yeah. for us. And I'm not saying it worked for you, but it might do. Yeah. And if we can have some of the issues yeah. <laughs> along the way and other people can just learn what issues we had, hopefully that helps. Yeah. And that's what this is going to be. Thank you so much for listening to the Journal of a Marketing Agency. Please rate, like and subscribe and catch up with past and future episodes at playfairmarketing.com. Yeah.